Wait, do you know where my... Okay, I don't know where to stand. Where should I stand and where do you want to stand? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> what are we going to say? Um, I can do like an intro. Feel free to hop in. Normal, normal vibes. We're normal people. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing a fun little sister spring haul. Last year we did a Shein haul and this year we did some thrifting. It was my sister's birthday. This is Sarah, my sister, if you guys saw her from last time. So I took her thrifting for her birthday and I wanted to spoil her. I wanted to take her out, get her whatever she wanted and she ended up being a very cheap date. So I think I spent more on food on you, honestly. I think like we both spent less than 50 bucks on everything that we're about to show you. And she also got like some fun not clothing stuff we want to show you and I got one little thing too. We'll leave those for the end. A really magical moment. Um, it was like flipping through a scrapbook. Um, there were some nostalgic moments of when we used to go thrifting when we were much younger. Our mother would always take us thrifting. It was not our favorite hobby at the Hi, time. Hi mom, by the way, no. <laughs> Hello mother. Um, but I have grown to love thrifting and so it's become a really big part of my life. And it was like really fun to go with my sister. I haven't been thrifting with her in, I don't even know when the last time. time was. <laughs> Yeah. And so it was like very magical, very nostalgic, childhood coming to life right before my eyes kind of thing. And we, we go in, like we fill up the cart with everything, everyone's personalities we grab, we throw them in the cart, we try on everything. It's insane. We used to sneak the cart into one of the rooms when we were the kids. The dressing rooms. The dressing rooms, yeah. Like the Deseret Industries. <laughs> Sorry, Deseret Industries. Yeah, if you're seeing this, we didn't do that. We are big fans. Huge fans. We only take five items in at a time. Yes. Be prepared to see what we have in this haul because it'll blow your mind. We bought a lot of skirts. We bought a lot of bottoms. So we're going to show you how we styled everything. My sister will go first. I got this super adorable. It's got um, paisley. Yeah, it's got some paisley and like pattern. Like kind of like quilt working look it reminds me of like color books like the color books yeah. that you fill in like different sections yeah yeah it's like got some like almost like color blocking or like patchwork type that going on but it's got like some cartoon vibes to it too it's got a ruffle at the bottom it's very like asymmetrical it's got a nice little fitted waist so it's super gorgeous i don't know what brand it is i don't care what brand it is when i'm thrifting um but I can let you know that information later. This is actually a cute top that I got on Depop, I believe, or Etsy. I think it was actually from Etsy. Super um, cute. Super, I guess somebody hand dyed it. The color is like gorgeous. Um, this is also originally thrifted way back when. I don't even know, I've had this for a few years. And then I hand made this necklace. You wanna show them the so, necklace? Get up in there. Show them that necklace. I made this necklace. She's very talented. It's a, like a rainbow crystal necklace. So it's got some little gems in between. So super cute. I don't know. And then my skirt, it's got like this fun like window pane type stitching to it. Yeah, it's like a sheer, a sheer material. And it's very pretty. It's very flowy. I love the pattern. I love the color. I'm not much of a navy person myself, but this one really just, I, the floral print, everything going on on this one is really nice. And you could really pair like some pinks with it if you wanted to. I'd wear this on a special day. Yeah. You just don't know what day that is. But it's very light and airy too. Obviously we know that you can't get these exactly, but if you wanted to look up the brand and see if you could find other things similar, mine is, this skirt is from InStyle and yours is American Living. Yes. Do yours first. Oh, okay, I can, I can start with mine. So these are just some other options that we were thinking of with the clothing. Options we were thinking of with the skirts that we have. So just to kind of show you different styles, different ways to wear this and give you ideas if you want to find something similar. We have like a white, a white cute little top instead of like mixing into the blue. Yeah, both of these are actually more like lingerie, um, vintage lingerie type tops. I love it. This love one, it. yeah, it's so gorgeous. I mean, I don't know. Look at that beading. Ooh, gorgeous. Private luxury. It certainly looks like it. That's the brand <laughs> of this top. Um, and so I have worn it as a top more 
Um, it technically is. Oh, show the back. That's so cute. Yeah, I didn't even know it had that. It's got a cute little bow. I think it's like a, what do you call it, a slip or something. Then mine's from Shein. So you guys know, you know how I do with Shein. So this is the other top I have. I love asymmetrical tops. And I think with something like this, or just most skirts in general, they look really good with asymmetrical tops and kind of just breaks up the different pieces that I'm wearing. So I would wear this and some pink shoes. These are my pink shoes. I would not wear shoes because I'm in a boot. Yes, Sarah is injured. I'm an injured person. Sarah is changing into her next thing, but I wanted to show you guys this jacket too. So this skirt and this jacket, I did not get from the DI. I got from a place in Provo called Thrifty Finds. Where's he? Oh. <laughs> I found this at a place called Get Thrifty in Provo. So we went to the DI and a few other thrift spots in Provo, and I got these two pieces there. They have some really cute stylish stuff. I totally lucked out there. Sarah did not get anything from that place. Felt so bad. We're here for her birthday, and I'm over here like treating myself, but you can't pass it up. And this color too for this jacket, it's from Forever 21 originally. You're not gonna see this color very often, so even though it doesn't make sense to buy it right now, I did. I'm gonna keep it for winter. No necklace. Hello. Um. So I'm wearing. I found these pants um, during our most recent event of thrift outing. <laughs> this is another top that I thrifted. Again, huge years and years ago. The fabric is thick enough, I can wear it without a bra very comfortably, which is something I freaking love. So I'm a big um, freedom, I believe in freedom for the female form. So that is <laughs> that how was I so feel. elegantly put. And then I have these cute white pants that I found, and the brand is Idiom. These have such a cute, like, vintage look. I know you can't see. The bottom but it's got um the like pleat down the middle so it's got some kind of like classy vibes i feel like i'm on a yacht not see-through right yeah that's one of my favorite things too super not see-through i've been looking for some white pants it's really hard to thrift white pants um you can guess why so yeah this is a huge find and i'm super excited about them so mine I got this jacket from the DI and it does not have a brand on it, but this is a, you said it's like a, a Baroque. Baroque? Baroque pattern. It's very pretty, like it's, um, I'll get a little close up for you. I don't really have anything in this pattern. I feel like the best place to go for kind of like pattern jackets is thrifting 100%. because you'll just find the most craziest. Yeah, the stuff nobody else thought they could pull off. Yeah. It's all yours. <laughs> And the weird thing about this one, so somebody must have like cut the inside. There are no, like this is pink inside, but it should have gone all the way through to the end of the sleeve and they cut it off. Yeah, so they took off the lining. So it fits a lot better because of that. I think it actually would have been too small. That's probably why they did it, but I love it. And then this skirt I also got from Get Thrifty. That's what it's called? Okay. Mm -hmm. And it had this ugly, terrible, huge label on it and it said Ben and James. So that's the brand hate big labels on things, hate when on it's the like- outside. Yeah, it was so gross. And it just had their name like really big with their logo next to it after their names. It's like a big leather. We get it, thing. we get it. You know, yeah. like it's yours. I took it off. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I totally like, I just like took a seam ripper and I took it off and you can't even tell that it was once there. And what I love about this skirt, first of all, it is not see-through either. It's very airy. I think it's like full cotton. It has like these dip outs on the side, you can kind of see them, that I thought were pockets. <laughs> really disappointed that they were not. But it kind of like flows the dress out more, or the dress, it flows the skirt out more and makes it look more shapely down here for you. And then it kind of just accentuates your waist too. So I think I would really love this brand if I saw other things from them, but how much would they have costed, you know? Yeah. Who knows? Okay, we were like counting out everything that we have left and I have two more skirts than Sarah does. I really lucked out on these trips i'm telling you guys i usually don't find anything that i like thrifting and i have not been in a long time but it was so much fun so i got this skirt here this is so tropical and pretty it doesn't have a brand tag on it so i don't know who this is from but it was 100 percent silk which is pretty dope and it's it's not as soft as other silk items that i've had 
so kind of surprising but it's probably been through a few washes and I haven't been able to find floral skirts like the ones that I'm going to show you guys that I've purchased from these thrift stores I can't find anything like this anywhere as far as skirts go and like double layered and the quality so I'm really glad I just totally lucked out this is the other skirt I got so pretty it's way too big for me though so we have some local shops around here that will dart your items for pretty cheap so kind of just cinch in the waist for you I think it's like $15 where um, Sarah was gonna go so I'm just gonna take this skirt here because again I've just never seen anything like this anywhere else and I really just loved the pattern it kind of reminds me of the ocean but it's all flowers and it's so pretty and I think it would look really good with this top and the band on it has like this really pretty ruched up looking band i love that i love the orange jacket is that thrifted too yeah it's a poshmark this is my next outfit i have no idea what the pattern is called but i have been obsessed like really trying to find this like watercolor looking so vacation prints it's like a collage of watercolor yeah palm trees vacation. boats umbrellas that kind of stuff but so I've been, I love that style of pattern. I think they're technically pajama pants, <laughs> but I like, they're super cute and comfy. They have like pockets. They have a little waist tie that I tucked in and you know, you could totally pair it with something like this crop top with like a cute blazer. This look too, like this is coming back in trend and it's really hard to do right. Like wearing like casual PJ tight mm -hmm. pants and like a blazer. It's hard to pull off, but you, you figured it out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know for sure, because I totally wore these to bed last night, and I love them. Um, and then I remembered we're doing this today, and I was like, oh yeah, I should try to style this. Like the cutest little satin tie, too. So you can see, like, kind of... Now it looks like PJs. It does look like PJ pants yeah. now. But this is like the tuck work it from in, home tuck it aesthetic. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like work from home, like, part, <laughs> like business on top, party on the bottom. Nice. Great job, Coles. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Love these pants. Keep them coming. I'll buy all of them. I know that it's not always as trendy with the young folk, but I'm a big Coles person, especially if you do Amazon returns at Coles. You get coupons. We love coupons here in my house, so no shame. Yeah, you will at least find one thing you like at Coles if you do have to go. Yeah, at least. Facts. Oh, I think too far out. You're like Sorry, slowly I inching space. off of the screen. I know, I was like, like hey. Sarah's leaving. <laughs> Sorry guys, I do want to be here, I promise. She's trying to leave. Yeah. I got this skirt from the Get Thrifty place as well. There's no tag on it, and I'm sure enough of these things, people would probably just rip the tag off. I have sensitive skin, I do that all the time. I hate the tags. So, nothing on this one, you guys, but it's really cute. And anytime anyone tells me that you shouldn't buy tops in the same color, they're wrong. I got this from Shein. Tops? Yeah, I got this from Shein, and I was wearing the same top in black at the beginning of this video. Did I make the wrong decision? The answer is no. This is why you have multiple tops yeah, in the same cute. color. And I love how it matches. Like the purple, like yeah. The vintage, yeah, that skirt looks so good on you. Thank you so much. Yeah, the waist was tight. I almost couldn't get it over my hips. Oh, really? Yeah surprised even with the elastic yeah i love it like it again really nice on my waist and then kind of just flares out really nice this is exactly what i wanted for spring and summer hello again it's us i'm just kidding whoa just didn't kidding. see that come here <laughs> is my next outfit so what i got this time is this white skirt so cute. it's super cute it's i think it's actually just like handmade by somebody it was like it cost me almost nothing guys it was a great deal it was like two dollars um, yeah such a good deal and i like really have been looking for a new white skirt um i have gained a little bit of weight since i got married and so I, I wanted to wear things like I wanted to change my style into something I felt like was more sustainable especially considering that we may have kids in the near future so I wanted to start buying things that have a little more stretch have you know that I can still wear once I get pregnant or things like that still again Smart. in the future but I am just thinking ahead and so this is super awesome super stretchy um, Looks like it, really it does soft. have I think it does have pockets 
but I'm wearing it, yeah, I think I might be wearing the pockets backwards, that's okay, <laughs> it looks basically the same either way, I guess. This top I also got on Depop, um, somebody, like, I think they also re like, dyed this one, and then they also added the buttons, and I think that they're so cute, they're like these adorable little green buttons, um, with some gemstones. So cute. Yeah, so cute. So I love it. Um, I've been really into kind of these like romantic pieces, upcycled uh, lingerie and things like that. So super huge fan of that style right now. Yeah, it's so vintage and like the bubbly kind of pattern on the skirt too is really cute. I got this skirt. It's, did I get this from Get Thrifty or the DI? Thrifty. I got this one from the DI. And this is from, I keep wanting to say the loft, it just says loft on the back. This one was a medium, so we safety pinned it in the back. But I am gonna get this one fixed too and kind of just fit to me. These light dusty blue colors just don't exist right now and they're really hard to find. <laughs> and so the floral cute. print it came with a slit on the side here too. Scandalous. <laughs> but this one's really pretty. And I mean, I just, I love, love the pattern. It's very soft, it's double layered. Again, hard to find things nowadays that are actually double lined, so they're not see-through. So I can be confident wearing this. This is like another beach skirt to me. Like, I just want to go to the beach in it. This jacket, I also got from the DI. This is like the coolest jacket ever. Really good quality. Again, random print, like Sarah said, someone else decided they couldn't pull it off, and I'm now very lucky to have such a random jacket. Obviously it doesn't go with anything that I'm showing you guys today, so I'm just throwing it on, but I had to show you guys because you can find some really good quality, still in really good condition stuff from thrifting. Yeah, this is really cool because it's got the dot print, so it's like all like little dots, mm -hmm. um, and it looks almost like lace from a distance, and so that's really cool. And uh, my second top is this cute top. Again, it's like romantic. Um, vintage like lingerie. It's got these beautiful wow. floral patterns. So close up of those. I know. Oh it's, just, it's got the most prettiest floral pattern you ever did see. It's like small white roses in between the pink roses. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, super, super gorgeous. Um, so you could totally wear something like white like that. Um, <laughs> whatever you want to wear because white goes with everything people say black goes with everything i don't think black goes with everything but i think white does we are two different people so yeah you know perspectives potato potato black white you know whatever it all works right for whoever it is that has that opinion so, she has again, like the cutest vintage tops like this whole thing that you're starting to wear like all these colors all these like old silky vintage lingerie type stuff it's a vibe. I don't see this a lot. Yeah, I don't know what theme it is. I think it's like romantic. Romantic. Okay. That's what I'm gonna go with. These are our last two clothing items that we got from thrifting. I got this skirt. I love this skirt, but generally speaking, this is actually a great thing from what you just talked about. I would want to wear black with this because it just is default, but like I do not like black and yellow together. I don't like this with white. So I tried some green, and this may not be the right top. But with these shoes and the right top, something magical could happen. I think the white in this is what's throwing me off. Super cute. You think it works? Yeah, when I saw it together, I was like, Jamie did something. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but I once. <laughs> and I was like, that one stood out to me, but I loved everything you tried on. Again, I don't have shoes, um, but what I found is this super cute skirt. Um, because I've been into that like vintage romantic look i've like really been i've been eyeballing some things that have like kind of like this beautiful lace on the bottom it with this other top that i've had for <laughs> quite a few years also very pretty um, beautiful like pastel floral pattern with the belt here just thought it kind of matched um the bottom with this lace here of the skirt so i thought that was a super fun look very again romantic it's very, very cute. Those two together, that color, I love that color. Obviously. You can't imagine why. <laughs> I just wanted to show a second option. So I also depopped this. I thought this was gorgeous. It looks a little wrinkly because I wore it. I haven't washed it yet. 
sorry about that but it looks super cute i actually was wearing this top when i found this and i just thought the combination was gorgeous um it's got like this cool piece in the it's middle like a triangle dip. yeah like mm -hmm. it's, i've never seen that shape um can be very flattering especially i think with a bodycon skirt on the bottom so super cute again very romantic and lacy what do you guys think about this cup this mug is it just not the most stunning piece of adorableness that you've ever seen like cottage core vibes look at these cows and the pink and green rolling hills let's all just take a deep breath and meditate on being right here right now Kidding. I just love it. Okay, anyway, I was heavily questioning that one and I was like, do you really want this? And she was she was in love with it. I am. I should like it. I love cows. But I know. They were I was kind of shocked. Minimal on that, you know, sure. very small. The colors are pretty, whatever. There. I thought this was so cute and I kind of want to try to do like a painting of it. And that, by the way, guys, all this stuff is from an antique small. It's called Treasures Antique Small. It's in Springville, Utah. Check it out. They have like two large, like warehouse sized antique like buildings. So it Lots is an antiquer's dream. And I haven't seen anything else close to that in Utah. I'll show you so. guys some random clips because we have found the most some gems. Interesting things. Yeah, some are gems, some are like, who put this here? And where did it come from? Is it cursed? There's some questionable items. And this is not one of them. So I just thought this was so cute. It's the most adorable little postcard. It hasn't even been written on. It was like 99 cents. Um, I just I just loved it. I thought it would be very cool to maybe do like a painting inspired by it later. Yeah, super creative. And then I got a cute little hanky. Lace details. Sarah wanted to try some natural dyeing, so she's gonna try it out on one of those, and I'm really excited I'm to see how that nervous. turns out. I'm scared to ruin it, but we got this. With hopes it goes well. Um, and then I got this adorable apron too. Again, I thought this fit very well with kind of like the romantic vibes that I've been going for. It's got this adorable pocket. I will just you just really have to see it up close with embroidery. Super cute. Um, and so yeah, I thought it totally fit the vibes, be fun for like a photo shoot, obviously. Definitely not really gonna wear it in the kitchen. I do like a this. cup of water. Just thought it was so pretty. Um, it is a beautiful floral vase. Um, the lady at the thrift store said it was potentially- It was like very British originating. Yeah, like English, China super gorgeous i'm gonna be using it for my tea party themed birthday so i'm excited for that so fun might use that as a base also might use that as a picture we will find out and the last thing that i forgot to bring with me and i'll show you guys a little clip of it i got the coolest salt and pepper shaker so it's shaped like a bushel of apples in a basket and it looks like it's one thing but then you're like this looks like it's just pepper like where's the salt you take that bushel of apples off the top and the basket is the salt and it's just the coolest thing ever. It's, you know, efficient, the way that it, you can store the two items. I know, shook. It's it really cool. So cute. It was quite the revelation when we first discovered it. And we are hoping that it will bless many others with delightment. And inspiration. I wanna see more out there like that. Like we, you know, it's an antique store. So there are plenty of different creative, cool salt and pepper shakers. That's like number one out of, actually, yeah, it's just number one. I don't yeah. even have like a top 10. Yeah, I picked up and touched many of them because I think that they're fun and my husband likes them. So I did my fair share of browsing and- Mine the takes the cake. Yeah, takes the cake. It takes the apples. <laughs> Multi-purpose. Is it a hanky or is it a a babushka? A bonnet. A bonnet. A babushka. I don't know. I know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what? It does have something written on it. 
it says, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe. Like the postcard, like the video. Subscribe like to the us. channel. And subscribe yes. to the channel. I'm holding it now. I know, I was like, on the way, holy up. Thank you all for coming. We hope you enjoy these amazing thrift finds. We hope that you thrift. We hope that you don't thrift. We hope that you find joy in fashion, wherever that may be. I love that. That's it. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your week.